Hello travelers, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to explain to you how to play and win Hot Pot, the new mini game in Palea at the Magi Market. Let's start with the basics. The Hot Pot will have four players and a middle section where tiles are located. In front of you, there are going to be a total of eight tiles in your section, and your goal is to make sets of three. All the tiles in a set must be the same color category blue for fish, red for meat, and so forth. And either can be all the same ingredient across the three tiles or all different ingredients across those tiles. Just remember, all the tiles must still be the same color category. For those colorblind players, the icon on the top right and bottom left of the tiles are good indicators for you to reference. The hot pot game will start once four players are at the table, or once the timer hits zero after the first player initiates a game by interacting with a hot pot table. The game will always start regardless of the number of players, and the game's NPCs will join instead to fill the empty player slots. If you're the first player to go, you'll need to pick a green tile, which is simply all the tiles upside down in a stack, so you can't see what it is, from the middle of the pot. You can then decide to trade the tile that you picked for one of yours or discard that pile you picked up and put it back in the middle. Any tile you decide you don't want to keep will be sent back to the middle as a discard along with the main stack of tiles that remain upside down. The next person can choose to take the tile you discarded or choose a random tile from the center pile and this will repeat until it's your turn again. You then have the option to choose any tile within the center circle, either one of the visible discarded with tiles from other players or from the main tile pile. And this repeats until someone wins. Now, before I explain how to win, it's important to note everyone will get a reward for playing. Winning simply means you'll get more lucky envelopes, which is the currency for this event, than other players at the same table. To trigger the win sequence, a player must have three sets of three. The cards you pull from the center pile will count towards a three set in your hand. So for example, if I have three blue or fish category tiles of all different ingredient types, three green or leafy category tiles of all different types, and two meat cards that are both steak, all I need to win is to pull a steak tile from the center as that would give me three complete sets. Another example can be seen here with three of the same noodles, three different vegetables, and two different fish tiles. I would need a third fish tile of an ingredient I don't have to win this game and trigger it to end. I think this is where most players get confused about how to trigger a win sequence because the game doesn't do a great job of explaining how exactly you make three sets of three because they don't tell you that the card you've pulled last will count towards a three stack if it matches. I hope this helps you enjoy Hot Pot as much as I have been and don't forget to get your real life friends into a server together to play some. The games take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, so while it does take you a little bit to get through, if you get used to the game, you can go through them pretty quickly. I can do about 4 to 5 hot pot games in the half an hour that the market is open. And here's a quick little rundown on other important information to do with the Magi Market. 1. Lucky Envelopes. You need these to buy most things at the market. You get lucky envelopes by playing hot pot or participating in the choppa chase, which occurs every in-game night at midnight. Filling stamp cards, which can be found in your player character menu under the events tab. Making a wish at the wish tree using the blue colored die. Getting lucky at Zeki's spin wheel. And completing quests. Number two, Zeki's lucky spin wheel. To get coins to use for a go at the wheel, you need to spend lucky envelopes. You do get one coin for free when you first start up the certain quest with Zeki, but you'll get an additional single coin for every 2,000 envelopes spent. And thirdly, the choppa chase. Interact with the loose choppa that's been running around and carry it back to the pen that's next to Kenyatta. Every choppa you return gets you envelopes. And you'll get a group bonus for however many everyone returned in total. And finally, the wish tree. You'll receive a wish ribbon every real life day with the reset being at 8 p.m. Pacific. The blog says each first login of the day, but that's referring to daily reset, which is at 8 p.m. Pacific time. 
You choose the die you want off of the table to the right of the tree. Each die color is associated to a prize you could receive. Blue is lucky envelopes, orange is gold coins, and the pink or red is renown. Then interact with the shrine at the base of the tree and wait until you're notified that your wish is ready. You can then go and interact with the domed pillar to the left of the tree and claim your wish reward. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you feel like it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, I hope you have a very magical day.